name is Peter Ruizka. I'm the festival co-director together with Marie Kessler also. Uh, and I also think that one, one important thing is that Pixelic always includes this element of, um, to say um, politely, what the frack, uh, which I think is really important uh, to point out that there are these very surprising and very, you know, unseen activities and very undefined activities and in between many things and something that are completely difficult to define and maybe a bit anarchistic every now and then. Um, I think Pixel X is always trying to be, or has always tried to be, a community event. The, the artists, makers, educators, utopians, uh, etc. who have been participating have always been in close contact with the audience. Uh, and I think this is kind of like it's in bending, of, not bending, blending the, 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 the role from audience to makers to participants to artists, etc. Uh, and this is, I think, one of the core of the ideas. It's, it's, it's like uh, even performative things have always had discussions and people have been, you know, enthusiastic about certain uh, production things or uh, certain aspects of one particular thing and then they get together and it, it creates a kind of a it creates a community or temporal community over various subjects and I think this is truly truly wonderful um, I hope and I think that this year we've also gathered together a pretty extraordinary group of people and pretty extraordinary uh, works and, and, and I think I hope that all of us can amaze all of us through these works. Uh, not just that the works would amaze us, but that we amaze each other through these interactions. That's, I think, one of the keys of this festival. Um, we have very unofficial, uh, we aim to have these unofficial moments as well, as, as much as possible. And uh, we will have them uh, tonight after the opening ceremonies or on ceremony, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we will have uh, the call, um, evening called Ilanvieto, which is a, a Finnish word for spending the evening, but it's one word and it's kind of nice, and we use that in our English as well. Uh, so it's a space for, um, yeah, just hanging out. In Omenapulto, which is right there outside the hospital area, like the wooden building on the left when you go out and there will be some music and yeah good feelings and interesting <laughs> installation of light and <laughs> branch on the wall that i saw just today that was wonderful <laughs> thank you um, yeah uh, so one more thing or a few more things but one more thing now uh, is Pixel Lake has always been this diverse and energetic organization which has been set like um, uh, a set of people at various times steering the organization into various directions. Uh, and while I, I don't aim to have some kind of historical retrospective talk about the, uh, in the organization, I think we're already 15 years old and, and, and and somebody <laughs> mentioned that it's kind of like a teenager, and uh, it's Juha. <laughs> and I think it's a, uh, well, I, I, I replied that hopefully this festival behaves a little bit like a teenager, but not too much. Um, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I would just like to mention very few people. I think it was amazing what Juha uh, Huskonen, who is here, also in the audience, Great, great to have you here. Uh, what they did, what Juha and, and a group of really enthusiastic and interesting and smart people did in the early, early days of this, this millennia, they started this festival and they were steering it into various directions. And that was, I mean, I'm happy to be, to be able to, to have been able to be part of that process as well. And, and that was a kind of a, you know, that's a, that's a really, like a really great thing to do. And uh, I'd also like to mention 
Natalie Albre, who was particularly coordinator for almost a decade. Like, yeah, massive workload and, and kind of like doing a lot of things. And it's, it's yeah, it's kind of like lots of respect for that. Um, especially now that I've been working as like dual roles and it's, it's sort of crazy sometimes. Um, so, and I've also been happy to work with both Johan and Natalie. And I would also like to say, you know, Andrew Patterson, who is also here, where is Andrew? There is Andrew. That substantial amount of work over so many years on creating, continuing the, the, the facilitation of the Pixelate community, it's been, it's been really great. Um, I think all in all, lots of really strange things and wonderful things have happened in Pixelate in the past 15 years. Um, last week, we, with Mari, would like to thank the fantastic team who have been able to put this, this, this festival together. Yes, I'm Mari. And uh, I was supposed to talk about uh, the thematics of this festival, Interfaces of Empathy for Empathy Now. And, uh, um, I think uh, the thematics origin from uh, something that has been in the focus of Pixel Lake uh, before too, which is the crisis of, uh, of humanity. And our take on that uh, crisis has been now empathy. And empathy is not just something nice or it, it's not also anything. Uh, Katri Saareki will explain a little bit more about empathy for us after this. But how I see empathy is that it is the basis of our morals and values. And as such, it's a great, great ability. And what this festival is searching for is how can we, since empathy is something that has enabled humankind to flourish, to collaborate together, so is it also something that can be taken to another level that we can start uh, experiencing empathy towards <coughs> maybe whole ecosystems? So uh, I think uh, things that are happening in this festival very much search these questions and uh, from very diverse points of views. Uh, I won't talk in so many words about the program because uh, anyway it speaks for itself. So there's no use for that. Please experience it. But uh, what I would like to do is to um, welcome us all to spend this time together and to appreciate it. And uh, maybe wish for some good luck for us too with these big questions in mind. Uh, I will do a chant. Uh, this is not uh, from a religious point of view, but uh, it's just something to refresh us. Uh, it's something that I usually do with, with, uh, with non-humans. Yeah. So, this is... Uh, there's no matter something that they're speaking now. And I asked... Uh, Pete Gomez. Nam yo 